always have the go-to medicine man, and he's one of the ship, he's one of the fellow parents. We have the crystal full body in the eyes, the spirit is laced all the way around. Shamans, these warriors I build have special energies from the different stones that I use in their spirit. They're made of metal and different specimens that are crystals from all over the world, from Brazil to Arizona turquoise to a citrine. So th that's what creates their spirit. And that's why they're shamans and their energy and people buy them to protect their homes and their feelings. Have a great day. You too. Yeah. Like this one, I'm going to take a picture of this. Sure, no These are steel sculptures that I create, and I use a lot of old recycled parts, vintage items. I use old typewriters, old hair dryers, uh, anything I can weld that's from the past. I love to use that. I feel like it really sparks people's imagination. It reminds them of their childhood or a toy they had or, or something like that that really engages them in the sculpture and brings a lot of joy when they look at it. We have such an amazing collection of artists that come here. We've got about 255 artists from all different categories, anything from mixed media to painting to sculpture. We really have it all and we've got some world-class artists. On top of all of that, the event is completely free and open to the public, so anybody's available to come. I'm so glad you helped me out so much and everything. It's been, it's been really. Yeah, that's why I want. Jasmine, come here. I mean, I think the city of Beverly Hills considers itself to be a leading center for art and culture. And the city owns over 60 pieces of art throughout the city. Many of them are just right next door um, in the El Rodeo block of the Beverly Cannon Garden or Beverly Gardens. And we have art from all over the world um, in the city. And this type of an event brings art kind of from the, the lower end up to the higher end. And I think people who come can find anything. Oh, wow. Dinner. <laughs> the stride of Lunacy and Hope 
and it's a reflection on our time, the 21st century. It starts with the hanging chart over there. Digital painting is exactly like traditional painting. It's just another tool. You paint on a digital tablet that is hooked to the computer and you look at the monitor, drawing and painting, zooming in, doing the details, zooming out. Oh, she's albino. Oh, yeah, that's a white girl. She's albino. Right. Uh, Show where they turn. 